Hey guys, welcome back to the episode 156 of Smile Again. So as you can see, guys, I took her guys. So she was emotional, guys. As you can see, she was already crying. She now said, "Sir," and as she said, "I'm sorry." And she said, "I was blinded by greed." And she told Mr. Cho that I did something I never should have done to you. So guys, Miss Cho said, it's no use saying that to him now. It's too late. I won't forgive you for what you did. And she told, she said, what you've committed is a terrible crime. She said, this isn't something we can forgive you for. You know, she was upset, guys. So Miss Kim said, I understand. And she said, I will be punished for my crime. I will gladly accept whatever you decide to do. I won't ask for forgiveness. I have no right. So Miss Cho said, I told you this won't do any good. So Mr. Cho told, told Miss Cho to like calm down, you know. So as you can see, Anna was like, oh ma. So Mr. Cho said, ma, so I was on my way to heaven's gate. And just as I was about to enter, like she, he was saying it emotionally, guys. I could hear her so sobbing. I had you. You said you would take the hotel for me if I didn't get better. You begged me to get better. Like Mr. Cho almost cried, guy, while saying that. So as you can see, Miss Kim was just crying, which it was true. And he said... You are like a daughter to me. There's no father in the world who would leave his child in so much pain. That's why I came back. So Miss Kim just begged, like just knelt down on her knee. She was on her knee and was just bleeding. She said, I'm sorry. She was crying, guys. She was really crying. So the extent that Anna went to meet her and Oh guys, I was like trying to like say, don't cry, Miss Kim. If you cry, it makes me sad. Don't cry, Miss. But you know, you can see Miss Cho was also crying, guy. But she turned back, guys. You can see. So guys, as the doctor was like, why are you being so stubborn? I already told you how serious this is. Let's set a date. So, Mr. Kim was like, this isn't the best time for it. I have things to take care of. I have work and I have my son to look after. But the doctor was like, is this that? And he said, you can tell your son what's going on. This isn't something you can try to cover up. You need your family support so you can receive treatment. So Mr. Kim said, I need more time, like he insisted, guys. And he said, my wife has gone through so much pain because of me. I can't put her through anymore. She has already had such a difficult time. And the doctor said, you shouldn't wait too long. Which he said again, I'm telling you this as your doctor, not as your friend. So Mr. Kim said, more you know and he said i will come for the surgery as soon as i'm ready so it happens that saying well you know she's in pain guys we she it happens she called doji where are you going doji you know she was like i know you are here to see me and she said why were you going going to leave so she told doji guys and she said we have to talk please you know so it happens Donji was like I have nothing left and he said I don't have anything. I have lost my dad, the hotel and you and he said and our baby. Hmm. So guys, he was really depressed guys. He said I've lost everything. So you know, so I was like trying to like tell him that you know the she still have the baby. He said no Donji, I haven't so, but the she cut in I don't want other people to see me like this. It's over. You can see then he hand up the call, guys. So, so I was like, doji, doji, doji. 
so guys you know after miss kim had left the hospital guys you know she was pleading before but anna wanted to talk to her but you know she had gone not until she turned back and sees james car guys so it happens she knocked the door and she said james james but james doesn't even know the person you know he's sick guys until he stood up and was now checking you know he's having eye problem guys and you know she, and it was not like hannah so it happens and i entered the car so Anna explained that miss kim came to see my dad and she said she cried so much so she told james that she even asked my dad to forgive her then she said she told mom she was sorry and she said mom got so mad at her as you can see and she said i feel bad for her so james said i'm glad you have been so understanding then anna said are you okay james you know so she has guys and she said you look so sick then she told james that do you have a headache did you hurt your head like i did <laughs> then she uh, she touched james guys so james held her hands you can see so james said no i've been such a bad person to you you've been through so much pain because of me so anna was like no i was happy because of you she told james that you gave me donkey and she said i'm very happy right now so she said i found my mom and dad and my son got to marry the girl he loves so and i was like in these days i only had my son so she was happy and she was like but now i have a big family so you can see she has been that so mr kim guys and she said i'm so happy so as you can see mr kim said yes i hope i can see you smile like that forever you can see guys so guys it's apples dongi and bong have really miss each other because mr cho told dongi to go and miss bong at home that he shouldn't bother to stay with him because he's already fine so as you can see but bong wasn't really happy just because of what you just said so don't give was like what was going on but she lied and said i'm so happy we are together and she said nothing is wrong so don't give said are you that much in love with me she ha he asked her guys and he said i don't know about that and he said i wanted to love you i wanted to love you mom so he said now you are going to make that hard for me but bongi cut in and say hey don't flatter yourself so guys it's apples dongi was talking about it and said everything will be said so once dongi turns himself in i want to talk to him into doing that he has to turn himself in before the police catch him that can help reduce the sentence and he said that would be the best for everyone so as you can see he said oh, i must be really tired i'm getting sleepy i've only been getting three or four hours of sleep a night so yes guys bong said it's going to take my mom a while to cook dinner why don't you rest your head on my lap <laughs> so as you can see then he said shall i so bong said sure so it happens he sleep on his on a lap guys and he said your lap is so comfortable as you can see he's already sleeping which bong was just touching his hair and bong was just thinking about you j guys so guys it happens they went on a day the hf and sewa mother so the man said actually i had a girlfriend back in the day at the time i was studying oriental medicine and he said but but i quit that to become a chef and, and she left me i've been married to my work ever since then so as you can see so my mother was just smelling the you know just pacifying the flower i was like hmm you know it was she was like do you have any siblings so she has and she said what about your parents 
So the head chef said, I have a younger brother and a younger sister. And he said, both of my parents passed away. So Sarah's mother said, do you know how old am I? How old I am? <laughs> I'm too old to have children. So the head chef said, it would be nice if I could have kids, but I don't care if I don't. I regret all the years I've lived without love. I would like to live the rest of my life filled with love. So the mother said, filled with love? So the head chef said, yes. Which she said, will you please give me a chance? And he said, I'm only asking you for a month. So he said, after the month, I'll, if you still don't want to be with me, then I will let you go. So guys, Miss Kim was now like, you know, she was like, I don't know if I have that kind of time. One month isn't that short. <laughs> so she said, I need to use the ladies' school. So when she left, guys, although she hadn't gone far, so some two ladies came, they were like, so... So it happened she had them and she, they were like saying, have the minute to introduce you to my sister for ages. The lady said, this must be fate, you know. And you can see the other lady was smiling. So the other lady said, my sister is a big fan of yours. So the other lady said, she is a dance instructor. You know, it, it was this lady they want to give him, guys. And she said, she got to Camellia out there all the time just to taste your cooking she says it's great wish you know the sister was blushing guys so it happens me <laughs> so when i went to cook meat him and said you are right like you said before <laughs> and she said why don't we see each other for a month or maybe two <laughs> Which the dear chef for surprise, which Sarah Mother said, life is short. So what do I have to lose? When should we start dating? Then she asked him. And she said, What about right now? So the chef was like, right now, you know, he was really happy. So Sarah Mother said, Let's go. I don't need to use the ladies' room anymore. <laughs> you can see just because of all the other ladies, guys. So as you can see, guys, tell your hands and is why we're talking like you know the kimchi business is okay now what are you going to do so abu stayan said you and i must think alike and they said i was going to talk to you about that too and he told his wife that i want to study for the bar exam one last time i want to think of it as my last chance so as you can see his saying was like of course you should so she said, I will take I will take on more modeling jobs so I can support you. But you have to promise to pass the by exam and become a lawyer. So he was like, okay, I will do that for you. He was really happy, guys. So it happens he kissed his wife on the cheeks and said, Thank you, thank you. But you have to promise to take good care of the one of the one on that day before you are a mother you are a mom so Tayon told his wife also so Tayon said okay then you can see they kiss each other so when Sarah was uh, was coming they were like oh you know they don't want Sarah to see them kiss so it won't you know look somehow to Sarah so Sarah was going out guys so it happens Miss Kim and Mr. Kim were talking so it was asking that we are were you able to gets in touch with doji so miss kim said no i told everyone to look for him but we haven't find him yet so as you can see mr kim said i heard you when you went to talk to mr Chu today and they said i heard you give all your shareholder rights to donkey i'm so glad you did that i'm so glad you know then he said, I know it wasn't an easy decision, but I expected that from you. So Miss Kim said, I don't want to hear that from you. And she said, you've never been on my side before. So she said, don't say it if you don't mean it. So guys, I suppose Miss that Miss Darkin was about to like touch like, you know, your boo, but you know, she was just like, leave alone, you know, trying to like move her body from him guys 
So it was like we have to bring him back. That's dungeon. So it's about Senwa quickly came in the guys. So Senwa came oh, they were surprised to see Senwa guys. So Miss Kim said, What are you doing here? Do you know where you are? So Senwa said, Oh money, we have to look for Donji. And she said, He was at my place earlier. So Miss Kim said, Really? So it happened, so I said, it was, it was packed outside, but when he saw me, he ran away. So she said, please, you have to find him so he can turn himself in. He will listen to you even if he doesn't listen to anyone else. So Miss Kim said, you two are no longer together. So it happened, so I said, I am pregnant. <laughs> She said I'm pregnant. So it's crazy. They were like, what? <laughs> you know, they were surprised, guys. So as you can see, Bong Father entered the room and it happens. He sees both of them sleeping together and they held each other hand, guys. So you can see he smiled and it was like they must have been so tired. So he went inside to take the bed sheets, guys. So it happens. Bong Mother also came and said, what are they doing like what are they doing did they fall asleep you know she was now trying to like wake them up guys so they can eat the chicken stick so as guys bunk brother said bunk father said no no just leave them like bunk so you can see because bunk mother was like trying to like tell them the the chicken is ready so it's apples bunk father like tell them tell bunk mother that stop you know that they are tired so let's go outside they come out there all of it is so sweet guys you can see how they look cute so it happens miss kim was surprised i was like pregnant are you sure so miss kim said mm, are you sure so she said yes i'm 50 weeks pregnant so mr kim said what about don't she doesn't know so she said it seems i had an abortion and we were because we were fighting about the baby so miss kim was like what are you trying to do like are you trying to are you trying to use the baby to get back together with donji but as you can see and she said do you think that's a possibility but so i was like no that i'm not planning anything and she said i'm not planning anything and i'm not doing this to get back together with him but i still want to have the baby and i'm going to so miss K mr kim said say what and say what said don't you think he's all alone in the world right now so she said i'm scared he might do something to himself so as you can see guys she said will you please tell me if you hear from him and his child has to know so it happened she left guys and she said i should go so she left so it's miss miss kim almost fed guys just because of the news she had so as you can see miss Taki went to meet her while outside where she was about to go and he held her hands guys and told her well, thank you yeah and she and it was like thank you for keeping that the child and see if it happens so i was just you know try like try to she almost cried guys because it was emotional and miss mr kim said take good care of your health so you can see and he said and call me whenever you want so it happens so i said thank you you can see so guys it happens that mr cho and Mr. Cho and Odana was sleeping. So Mr. Cho asked that Meso, are you sleeping? But she said, No, I've been thinking. Is there anything you need? So Mr. Cho told her that you have to go easy on high soup. And he said, So it's about Mr. Cho said, I don't want to talk about her. But you know, Mr. Cho was like, I soak and Donji were like they were like a daughter and grandson to me before the pig came to us imagine the sense of loss they had to deal with so mr was like your boo 
So Miss just said, I suck must have felt terrible after what she did. And he said, so she must have hated herself after what she did to me. And Mr. Cho said, she must have been very tired and lonely. And he said, so it happens Miss Cho was like, you need to go back to sleep. So Mr. Cho said, I suck was never a replacement of, of Dong Pik. If we thought of that of us, that then we are to be blamed. I suck was a child to us. And he said, what do most parents do when our child comes to us for begging our for our forgiveness? So as you can see, guys, Mr. was I trying to like tell him to like go to sleep. So it happens Mr. Joe held his wife hands, guys, you can see. But Mr. Joe was just like, well, you know, just thinking to, you know, because his husband tell him. Had to forgive Miss Kim. So it happens Dongi was just looking at staring at Bong guys. We just have he almost kissed Bong. So Bong was surprised. Bong just pushed him away. So the guy say push him away. So it happens that Dongi was surprised. So Bong was like, What are you doing in my bed, Dongi? So it happens Dongi said, Bongi, we are married. <laughs> So what if we use the same bed? <laughs> it was like so. So that was when Bong remember that they are, they were, they are married guys. It was like oh we are married. So she went to meet him and said, Are you okay? I'm sorry I hurt you. Are you hurt? So it happens. Dongi was like ah oh, ah oh, oh, you know. So it happens. Dongi hug her guys. So it happens. That was when Bong mother came in and said both of them should come outside. So she was like, so you can finish what you had. <laughs> so she left, guys. So they were both laughing. So as you can see, guys, it's Apple's Yunji called, called Bongi, guys. So it happens she called Bongi, although Dongi had left, guys. And you just said, you promised you were going to leave Dongi. If I help him, amen. So it's Apple's bone said, I remember I will meet you. So you just said, I'll meet you at and Dongi at the hotel lounge. So as you can see, both of them are there. Dongi doesn't even know what's going on. Dongi was like, Is something wrong? Like, what is going on? This and that. So Bong was about to tell him, but it happens. Yunji came in and said, Bong. So as you can see, she was here. Yunji was here, guys. So Yunji was talking to. Bong. I was like, so it's Apple Dongi was just like, what do you mean waiting? So it, it should, like Dongi was just surprised, guy. So it doesn't even know what's going. <laughs> so she said, what are you and I? What you and I promise? As you can see, so but Dongi doesn't even know what's going on. So it's Apple's they explained to him, guys. But he was surprised that Bongi would do that to him. He just said yes in exchange for my hair part. Damn it. <laughs> like, so yes, guy, it doesn't even, even sound like it doesn't even sound good. So it's almost Bongi said, Is this true? The Bong just did it for love, guys. But it doesn't make sense in my face. And she, he said, How can you make this kind of deal? So it's up just said, did you really think what I said made sense? <laughs> like seriously, guys, I thought I was the only one. It doesn't even make any sense. So Bong was like, what do you mean? <laughs> like when, as if Dongi isn't ill, man. Like why would they make that kind of deal? Is it, <laughs> it's really funny, guys. So Bong was surprised. So as you can see, Uji was like, I know I lose. No, she was telling and she said, I lost. I don't think I can love him the way you do. Like, you know, like she was just testing her. So as you can see, Bong was like, you gee. So you just said, you are so clueless. <laughs> so guys, it happens. Bongi was surprised. So it happens, Yunji told her about the gift. So he was like, what gift, you know? So Yunji told her that be happy she stood up and said be happy if you are not i'm going to come back and split you up 
so guys it happens she left as you can see don't give us the anger like why would you do that so are you really going to leave me <laughs> so it's i was born he apologized guys so she apologized which don't you say what's the talk about the gift so it happens bongo like oh gifts i just oh like i remember you know she went to check where she put it guys so it happens she check they were checking it checking it guys not until <laughs> which it happens don't get also bought one out which it happens she he held the pants why don't you the you know the sexy gown guys nighty so it was the other chef came in i was like what are you doing are you allowed to do that at work or this and that so it was don't you almost put your pants in his pockets guys <laughs> so it was born quickly went to meet her outside i was like you know so she, she was like yunji thank you so much and i'm so sorry and she hug yunji guy because yunji was like come on you know so she said stop it now you want people to think somehow so you can see bong was happy and she said and will you please put that away because of she was still holding the the sexy nights guys those nights so and she said you are awesome so she said i know i'm a pretty i'm pretty awesome so be happy with donkey and you just said you stole him from someone awesome so you better make it count so as you can see she smiled at bongi guys and she lives so bongi was just looking at her you know she was really happy guys which is how donkey came to meet don to meet bongi guys so it happens in j also like with at them guys so this you can see bong was really happy which don't get so smiled at our guys yeah as it happens pj was on his way to hospitals to see mr cho but he just saw mr kim and he was like i don't want to have to see him first thing in the morning like i don't want to have to see him first thing in the morning but he noticed that mr joe was just you know just trying to like fall you know so it's apple pj was like what's doing him like what's going on you know he was surprised not until mr kim fell guys so it happens pj already meet him guys so pj was really surprised and was like june because mr kim fainted guys so she shouted june 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 as you can see she was just it was just shouting june wake up june wake up so guys as you can see they are about to discharge mr joe in the hospital guys so anna was happy so they were happy that mr joe is going to be discharged from the hospital so as you can see guys they was they were like asking about june that june isn't here like what's going on but it happened something just happened to hannah i think just because of something is going on to with mr kim guys that's why she is having this type of feelings that something is happening to her so it happens hannah can't she, it was like she can't like she's beating strange like she feels strange like she's beating fast fast you know she doesn't even know what's wrong with that she was just feeling somehow she said i don't know why i feel so you know she was really scared guys you can see pj was also calling the nurse to help mr kim guys you know he fainted so that was all for today guys and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment bye guys